Hello and welcome to Hermitcraft Season 10. I have now been in a Hermitcraft season with every single number at, at the start of it, I think. Unless I've been really stupid. I wasn't here for Hermitcraft Season 1, I started in Hermitcraft Season 2, and then I've gone all the way up to Hermitcraft Season 9, and now I'm on Hermitcraft Season 10, which starts with a 1. See, I've done all the numbers apart from 0. Last night was crazy, you can see I'm in iron armor and I've got a diamond pickaxe. Uh, all, all will be revealed. It started with the standard intro. Mine was the same way. Oh, thing. Whoa, no, I got hit by a llama! Why are they shooting at us? Who's talking first? <laughs> Mambo? Right. Oh, Me? We started. Bumbo. Bumbo, <laughs> Bumbo, 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 Oh, um, uh, hello. Welcome to Habitcraft Season 10. Um, it's really good to have you all here. And, uh, we have... <laughs> Uh, some new people on the server. Should I announce those? Should I, should I point it in their general direction? Is that a good idea? Yeah, let's all, okay, look, at let's all look at them. Speech. Let's all look at them. Speech. Yay. Yes, there. <laughs> okay. Two different places. Oh, they're in look yeah, completely separate ends. Uh, so we've got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in the oh! Then Green explained his new game, Demise. So this season, we're going to be playing a brand new game of Demise, which is kind of like pseudo hardcore. Now, obviously, if you die in hardcore, your world ends. That's not going to happen here, but you do join the dead team. Your name <laughs> will turn red, and you become temporarily a Reaper, and your job is to kill someone else who has not died yet. Then Rendo organized a community co-op mining competition. We are going to separate into teams. We're going to go cave for the next 90 minutes. At the end of that, we shall share all of the lovely loots equally between us. Or should I say between everyone who survives? If you die, you're out. My team is Iskal, Stress, Hypno, and Ren. In my <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jeff, okay. Jeff just took a took an axe to me. Oh, that's did he mistake you for a tree? I can't believe Jeff almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, that is rude. That Mumble, was you're still in heck? shock. Plain you're rude. still in shock. You're like one of those birds, Mumbo, that uh, that wears a salmon hat head, and then like they get scared and they. Just oh yeah, I've got a salmon head on. Like, salmon head is armor one and a half. Don't yeah, you know? at least. Makes it's your is makes it? you a bit slippery to yep, attack. No, no, no. Oh. Yep, yep. No. Well, that's true. No. Yeah. What is down the um, hypno? Is it is it worth the, it? I don't know, man. That's looking pretty scary down there. There's bats and things. Bats. Mumbo, you're <laughs> down there with nothing but a salmon There's head like a on. There's like a mumbo down there, too. <laughs> yeah, the salmon, head. <laughs> the salmon head makes it feel slightly safer. I got redstone. You got redstone? You uh, you go. Potentially wow. not. Uh, no, I don't. You can't mine redstone so need, with a stone pickaxe. pickaxe. I just want to point this out. And this one is for you, Mumbo. Mm -hmm. Dying first, you will never stop hearing about that. Also, you don't get any of the loot from this uh, co-op caving adventure. We have a, a little a little gentleman's agreement that I at least get a little, yeah, a little I'm, I'm like backhand. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you stuff if you die. I, please don't plan to die. I mean, you know, I vehemently disagree with this. Oh, yeah, I, you... I think if you die, you should be punished. I shouldn't have brought that up to the organizer of the thing, should I? <laughs> no. If I die I'm first, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hurry up and try and kill one of you so that I have a friend. No. Oh, that's, wow. oh, that's a good way to make oh, friends, actually, Escal. That's a good yeah, way to make friends. A, it's a force way of making yeah. friends. I'd happily yeah. munch on a bit of uh, Iskal thigh, you know. <laughs> Should we all leave this group? <laughs> yeah, yeah I think they need some private go. space. You are definitely in danger. The fan fictions are being drawn up as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! Mama, can, I just, can I just ask, what are you doing? I'm you are in the most precarious place that I've ever seen. You are one block above an entire array of stalactites. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> this is news to me. <laughs> That's exciting. What a thrill. Oh, stress. Oh, we're here. You're up here with what? me. You're oh, also... In a ridiculous location, clearly. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got close. diamonds. Hey. No way. You got diamonds? Hey. Somebody else got diamonds. <laughs> nice. Wait, you guys, nice. you guys have got diamonds? I'm still on wood. I, I'm going to put in another request for a <clears throat> for iron armor shareage. I've just realized something. Ren proposed this entire competition yes. where we spread out the resources. Yeah. And so far, <laughs> he has gathered nothing. You guys are so good at iron finding. I've got, I only got seven. Uh. You're like a project manager. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that is, that's boss. exactly what I am. The like, guys are going down here, 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 looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, all right, all right, then. Well, uh, I better carry on. I'm sitting here trying to figure out: Ooh. Did Mumbo actually get good at Minecraft, or does he just not know how bad he is, and so he's just taking risks? Aww. Both of these, both of these things are insults. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Trace? You okay? <laughs> 
coming, boy. Stress, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. Gonna... <laughs> oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? What was that? <laughs> That was the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That, that was uh, that, that was that might have been my bad. You literally couldn't have. You just used a creeper as a projectile against our own teammate. Um, that's, I know that's what it looked like. That's exactly um, what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't oh look like anything God. else, friend. You had any other direction to hit that creeper, and you and you blasted it straight towards stress. Uh, <laughs> look, you, you it was doing? a panic. Mo it was a moment of panic. You had it so much time. To the best of us. You hate to see it. Ren, you can't just say you hate to see it. That's the, that shouldn't be how you wrap up a situation like that. <laughs> That's not how that, that interaction goes down, oh. Ren. Oh, you know, you hate to see it. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> I guess yeah. I, I, I love how Red is all silent as if he's like on a more important phone call yeah, on the yeah, side. Like, oh, yeah. 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 I am going to go outside. I'm outside? Give us, give us some. Yeah. <laughs> What's outside, Ren? Wait, are we going to come out? You're going to have a little dirt hut. You're going to have like a base. He's going to go upstairs and he's going to build our chest yeah. place. For yeah, all yeah. Our stuff. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We need some chests. I mean, we need storage. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have enough stuff here, Ren. Ren's gone. He's uh, just going up the waterfall. He's not even joking. This would be funny if he was joking, but no, he's actually just gone. Uh, we also I need food. We How can you need food by sitting still in yeah. one spot? Like, what are you doing? I don't think I've moved for about 10 minutes. Wait, yeah, exactly. stress. I've been defending you, exactly. and you've been doing nothing as well. I've done more Ren. than Ren has. <laughs> How many Ren workloads have we done? I've done about four Ren workloads. Stress has done two. Yeah, I've done about two, yeah. yeah. Uh, in other news, I have oh. found bovine, everybody. Oh, great. How will you slay such a such a dangerous foe, Ren? Oh, skeleton! Yeah. Skeleton! We I'm running away. I'm, pick Wait, I'm picking up the iron that you've mined, and then I'm running away. Ah! Why did you bring it to me? Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, guys, I didn't know the skeleton! Up a crafting bench? <laughs> Oh, I'm about to die! No, no, no. Crafting. No, don't, no, don't die, don't die, Mumbo. No, eat something, eat something, eat something. Eat something. Put a crafting Behave yourself. Oh, are you oh, right, Mumbo? So, <laughs> sorry, <See> stress. You <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. That's embarrassing. That's sli that is slightly embarrassing. Okay. I, br I bravely protected oh, myself weird. there. Don't go that way. <laughs> oh, don't go that way, don't go that way. Don't go either way. Oh, God. Don't Wait, go any way. The, ba the baby's falling off the chicken. No, Friend, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. My team. We're here. We're here. Uh, could somebody, could somebody we made provide, it. Could somebody provide a, a safe exit for our tunnel? <laughs> where, where, where are you? Oh, Look hi. up. Look up. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. You can do Don't this, move right? It. Oh, how, how much longer do we have on this mining excursion? That's a good question. I didn't actually um, time oh, when we started oh, this. What? There's one thing there that you're meant to do, to do as the runner of an event that is uh, timed. This is... Yeah, go on, Ren. This go on, Ren, you got this. This is, this is not this. safe. Go no, on, Ren. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's right. fine. It's yeah. okay. It's actually All less the blue bin diamonds. bags! You All guys have got shields. Oh, the diamonds! This is a diamonds? good... Diamonds? This is a I good. Found a Wait, massive I was the one there. that charged in here. You did no, great. No, no, you know how we all <laughs> for Ren, the rocks. Ren, 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 Ren. Yes. For being as nice as possible here, Ren. You have spent yes. the past forty-five <laughs> minutes at the top of the cave while we've all charged in. The one time <laughs> where you charge into a cave, you're then all talking about how you deserve a cut. Team meeting. Team meeting. Oh, yep, yep. Yep. Okay, team meeting. Uh, yep. Red, team meeting. Do you have? Do yes. you have one diamond? Are you going to make a I like got... a jukebox? If it's a jukebox, a pair if it's a jukebox, you're going in the lava. Thank Check you. it out. Motivation. Oh yes, look. <laughs> it's girl, do, I am, do, I am do, brimming do, with rage. That is oh. the most I'm... outrageous waste of <laughs> yeah. diamonds. That I've ever seen. I think we need a okay. few more torches, though. Like, it's very dark. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, guys. I've got torches. <laughs> hey, Mama to the rescue. I have two. I have three torches. I've got 12 torches. I have I 20. Leave, you I guys kept this so cause... quiet. What the, he what the I heck? I got 20. Yeah, exactly, Mumbo. We've got like 80 torches between all of us. Here you go, Mumbo. Here you go. 
And here's here are some sticks for it. I, I didn't assemble them for you. Typical Swede giving say. it to me in a flat pack. <laughs> <laughs> come and Someone chill. Chairs. Come and chill. Yeah, come and chill. Hi. So, like, you're complaining about our efficiency, and then you build chairs out of the wood. We Welcome have to, to Camp <laughs> Blue Bin Bag. Are we going to talk about efficiency while this record is currently playing on the jukebox that you spent a diamond of mine for? I'm off. <laughs> oh, no, my food! Oh, okay, I'm already down. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and as our heroic, as our heroic wow. adventurer descended, he shouted back, Oh, no, my food! <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, how, that's how you, okay, that's you get that back. I've gonna... made a lovely little camp in a geode if you want to come hang, come hang out here in the Harvest Crystals. Oh, oh we're going to make loads I mean, of telescopes. Can't wait. Um, you know what we could do is start arranging the chest, um, separating <laughs> all the stuff. You really are a project manager. All this work that you guys have done, I'm just going to organize it. I'm going to organize it so that it is in its organized. correct place and organized. And uh, the, the company is not making a lot of profit, but I'm going to spend some that could have been profit on Gyra so that we can organize in yeah. an application. Did you just get, oh, a, did you just get, a, wait, did you just get a product placement in? I, I just, I just, I just product place without asking any questions first. Oof. It's the best. It's I great. will be cutting that out of my video. I didn't even know what hit me. I suddenly just want to organize my documents, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, gyrosoftware.com. It's free three months with the code. Code SQL. Code SQL. Yeah. yeah. All of this is getting cut. You guys are the worst. You've ruined my team. <laughs> well, well, if you uh, if you need a new if you need a new team, head over to the... Indeed. <laughs> Indeed.com <laughs> slash Mumbo. Indeed. Oh no! Oh no! Just as I was just as I was doing a jokey bit about replacing a teammate, he actually he actually goes and dies. <laughs> it's okay, I'll collect all of his stuff. <laughs> Where did you die? He blew up our chest! Oh, oh, for goodness sake, Ren! <laughs> no! Ren! Oh. <laughs> it's just <laughs> he actually exploded our Oh my goodness, guys. this is no. desperate. <laughs> this is desperate. <laughs> Look at his crystals! <laughs> Look at his shards! <laughs> this is what he's been we collecting! <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone in a campfire! <laughs> Ren! No. You organized it into a fire, you complete buffoon! I, um, I'm sorry about that, everybody. That was, uh, unexpected. That was unexpected. Oh my god, this guy is. This guy. I can't believe, I can't believe now Ren can't cut that out of his episode. Literally, I think as he blows up, I'm talking about a jokey sponsorship. But now oh, he I'll cannot be doing remove. Some voiceovers, don't worry about that. I'm so sick, my throat hurts. That is so, so stupid. Oh, I have to eat some fruit pastels. Honestly, on my. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of, that's another ad, I swear I'm going to come and put you in the same place that Ren currently is in. Do you remember that time when I asked about uh, getting a little backhander if you died? You know, a little sweet something or something? And you said that you were vehemently against it? Well, buddy. It's, it's fine. I, I, I made the you. rules. I, I, I made the bed. I now sleep in it. Is this his funeral song? Is this his little funeral <laughs> song? She'll say some words song. about Ren. I, I want to say some words. Yeah. If anyone needs any of the cotton balls I use to wipe my eyeballs, you can get them at cottonballs.now <laughs> slash <laughs> if, I, if I can say some words. Sadly, yeah, Ren please. was completely blown to smithereens. So uh, we have no remains to bury. So uh, hopefully these two raw chickens and and a small Wait, flower yeah, I got, I got of appreciation his... will Oh, I got his pink head. Lover. Yeah, his pink head. And uh, <laughs> may he rest. May he rest in peace. <laughs> um, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I think we should organize. That's what Ren would have yeah. wanted. Yeah, that's what Ren would have wanted. <laughs> 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 we should all shuffle items in his in his honor. Can, can I just say the most ironic part is that he died at the camp. Who knew he was putting himself in the most danger at all time? <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> if, only we, if only we had appreciated how treacherous his, his item shuffling was. I actually need to punch. Uh, I need to punch Jevin at some point. In fact, I'm going to hit him now. Uh, no, maybe okay. not. He hit me with an axe no, earlier. I, I, I got your back. Yeah, I, hit I feel, him. I feel like on. I feel like he's owed one, but I I feel yeah. like he could just potentially also die. Just give him a little tap. Just give him a little tap. 
Little tap with you. I'll, I'll, I'll slap him with some meat. You missed. You missed <laughs> twice. I, I slapped uh -oh. him with some meat. Uh -oh. Oh, you missed no, twice. see, see oh. he's ridiculous. He takes it he's way using too the far. Diamond axe. Yeah. yeah, what is this? Co op Cave and Company, <laughs> congratulations for making it. Behind <laughs> me, you will all see these lovely chests. Please do deposit. Wait, I will please. subdivide it into equal uh, shares for everybody. The next chapter of this story is finding my initial base location. I can see some potential friends down there. Oh my goodness me, this seems precarious. Hello. We got Mumbo. Mumbo. You live next to me. Nobody wants to live next Mumbo. to me. We're just me. taking Scar, out Scar, I wasn't. You I me. Now I want to live next to Scar. What's Quick, Rumbo, before all the good spots are taken. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be next to you, Scar. We'll be right next to each other, rubbing up at. Yeah, there we'll be like, we'll be there. Sweet. Saskia's <laughs> had bad hair. Excuse me. Let's continue the tour us? of the mountain because it's yeah, exactly. the same all the okay. way around. Skizzle okay. man. Everybody got to pick a spot. You guys got signs? Yeah, we need a spot. Yeah, oh, but, a sign. Scar, Scar, where did you pick? I'm, <laughs> I've kind of. We'll, we'll get around there. We'll I've, get around there. I've signed up sight unseen here a little bit. This is me right here. I also nice. have a crack over I'm here. I'm like up there slash down here a little bit. It's a bit further up. You can't see it. This section's not really claimed either. Okay. This it's is my spot. Nice. This is well, this Scar. is Scar's spot. He literally... <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not really claimed a part of the mountain. He's claimed that tree over there. That hole right there is my hole. <laughs> if you were on the oh. other side of that, on the other side of that, like tree Between right there, Scar then it would make a complete circle around the, the mountain. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would, I that mean, would fill I'd, the gap. Yeah, that would be cool. I can go there. And that just about takes us to the present day. I actually still need to gather my resources from the community mining competition. Everything seems painfully far away when you don't have an Elytra. I also really have no idea where I'm going. I'm just heading in a general direction. But I am starting to see some rather lovely signs of life. And this looks a lot like the hillock. Okay, um, do I just... Do I just grab them? Oh, okay, is this... That looks like an empty chest. Okay, so there, there are still some unclaimed resources here. I'm gonna say that these are mine. I'm claiming these. Has any, has anyone claimed? I mean, the salmon head that was mine. So I guess these are these are mine. I don't know how this works. So two hours of resource gathering got me this. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best deal, but it was entertaining. And I guess I'm ignoring the fact that I have two diamond pickaxes and am in full iron armor. Actually, you know what? I'd say this is good. I shall return back to my cherry blossom mount and begin working on my base. My my very early starter base. Here's the thing. Okay, I kind of want it to be like up here, but that also seems like it would be really annoying to get to all the time. So I'm going to have it up here, but then with some of it down here, it's going to be like split. And then I think I'm going to have to do some inventions. I'm going to have to do some inventing here to actually make this kind of work as a split base. I've spent some time in the redstone testing world. I've done some inventing, and now I need to do some resource gathering. Now I know what you're thinking. Surely the cooperative mining operation has given you tons of resources, but the issue is a lot of the blocks didn't actually get split up between everyone. So I've got loads of valuable resources, but no actual blocks. So I, I still need tons of deep slate and tons of stone and cobblestone and bits. Resource gathering complete. Bar one type of block, which is the mangrove wood. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to get mangrove wood from. I did hear Jem talking about mangrove in the Discord, so I'm just going to wander over in Jem's direction and see if there's anything that I could, um, bo borrow? Any server lag that I can find? I'm not actually going to pinch Jem's wood. I'm just going to pinch a propagule from Jem's wood. Hopefully that's okay. Yes, this looks incredibly promising. That bee is also very happy to see this mangrove tree. What is it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? Right, how, how do I get a propagule down? Do I just break it? Yeah, that was, that was quite a lot easier than I was expecting. Right, so now that I have this thing, what do I do with it? Do I just... Do I just plonk it down? Is that... <laughs> I don't know how these things work. I mean, that feels like the correct thing to do. I don't have any bone meal, so I can't bone meal it. I guess I just have to wait for this thing to potentially maybe grow. There are some elements of early Minecraft that I don't exactly miss. This is where I live now. Has it grown yet? No. Has it grown yet? No. What is that? What on earth sort of tree is this? I have never seen a tree like this before. What has happened? We do have a few spare propagules, so this is good. This is good. And I do also have some bone meal. I think, yeah, if I, if I bone meal this, that can get me the beginnings of a propagule, but that used a lot more bone meal than I was expecting. No, this is good. I broke it too early. Okay, here's the deal. As much as I like this system, and as much as we clearly do have 
a sort of mangrove growing operation going here. I don't think we're going to produce enough mangrove wood for the project that I need. So we might need to go out exploring here. Goodness, it just grew right in front of my eyes. These mangrove trees are absolutely enormous. Are they normally this big? I guess we're about to find out because I've been informed that there is a mangrove swamp around about 4,000 blocks away. So I've packed some food. I've got myself a boat. I think that should be everything that I need. Look, this is not something that I want Mojang to change, but has anyone who works at Mojang ever actually ridden in a boat? Because the fact that it doesn't use up any hunger is pretty ridiculous. I don't think anyone at Mojang realizes how hard it would be to travel this fast in such an un... Water dynamic boat? I mean, what's it called when you're in water? It's not aerodynamic, so I, I guess it would be water dynamic, but that feels very wrong. Wow, this ocean is incredible though. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Are those mangroves? They... they are mangroves. Yes, they are. Good! Okay, we have made it! This terrain is wild! This is so strange looking, and I've just realized I've come all the way out here. I didn't bring anything more than a stone axe. What on earth was I thinking? <laughs> I seriously checked if I had everything and didn't think about the fact that I may need more than just a stone axe. I worry about myself, I really do. Okay, what's the etiquette on mangrove trees? Because, you know, I've cleared out this tree here, and I've removed all the floating blocks. Do I have to remove all the roots as well? Like, is this still counting as a floater? Because, you know, I don't want to be known as the guy who leaves floaters all over the server, but I, I also don't want to clean out all these roots if it's unnecessary. Please advise me down in the comment section. Okay, I'm getting to a point now where I'm pretty happy with the number of mangroves I've got. I've kind of decimated this forest here. I've also managed to gather an absolute ton of propagules so I can make my own forest back where I live, which is all very exciting. So let's start heading home, which is just a very long boat journey away. So we have this thing on the Hermitcraft server now that if you put a mob head on top of a note block, it will play the sound of that mob. And whoever did this needs to be put in jail. Let's retreat to the safety of my testing world. As I was doing my experiments, I caught sight of my Hermitcraft Season 7 Golden Hearts, and I love the idea of something hanging. I think these look really, really cool. And this is something that I want to try and incorporate into my starter base somehow. And I think I can probably do that by incorporating the side of the mountain here, this steep side of the mountain, to build almost a structure that then hangs my starter base off of the side of it. This does mean that for the time being, I won't need my split storage system, but I will need it a little bit later when I start expanding up and down the mountain. So the first thing that I'm working on is I'm trying to make an area that looks like it has had something mounted to it. Like this is this is a place that is reinforced, that is holding up a giant base hanging off the side of a mountain. Let's see, how does this feel? Um, I would say that is actually pretty good. I think I need to do some bits around the edges. I think I need to smooth the transition a little bit more. But I would actually say that looks about right. And now I would say it looks even better because of all of the fence posts and things. This looks good. So now it's time to start actually making the structure. And my block palette is going to be deep slate and the mangrove. These two blocks, in my very humble and very uninformed opinion, look really, really nice together. If I wanted to sound really smart, I'd say they have complementary hues. Now, I want this to look really big and structural. So I'm going to create essentially almost like a truss a truss for those of you who are somewhat interested in bridges and engineering bits. It's like a, a series of triangles that form a good strong structure. You can always tell when I don't entirely know what I'm talking about because I take a really long time. I take long pauses in my sentences. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going, but it feels like I'm doing the right thing. Now, I'm not sure this is looking great so far, but we're gonna push on. I, I think there's something here. I'm adding a little bit more texture and a few more ridges to the build. And I think that's going to help things a little bit. Maybe some of these mangrove rivets. I know wooden rivets wouldn't really exist, but it, it seems like a good detail. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. It's not so obvious that there's a triangles, but I think it looks good. And most importantly, I'd say it's just about the right size that it still looks like it could exist and dangle something off the edge. Again, not entirely sure what I'm doing here. In my head, this structure here is like the big unit which then the base hangs off of. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of regret 
bringing engineers into this conversation because now they're going to be looking at my build here and they're just going to be picking it apart what's possible and what isn't. This is going to be Catherine the geologist telling me my mountain's too small all over again. Okay, things are coming together. Only thing is I keep forgetting I don't have an elytra and I just keep launching myself to the ground. I'm gradually making this top section just a little bit more solid and now I would say it is complete and it looks cool. Okay, that looks really, really cool. So this is the thing that is going to dangle my base, my little base down here. Skiz has a lovely crack. Sorry, I was just looking at other people's bases for inspiration. Okay, how do I want to do this? Uh, I guess iron chains, that seems like a very terrible use of early game iron, but it's the only way that I can do it. Oh my goodness, they're so expensive. I'm gonna use all of my iron. <laughs> okay, I, I think that's enough chains for now. I'm also going to make use of walls. Okay, this is about as far as this thing can dangle down because I literally can't afford for it to dangle any lower. So this is going to be the roof of my base. This feels like it looks good from up here. I have no clue what it looks like from down underneath. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. And then this is what I was playing around with in my testing world in terms of block pallets and things. I personally think that stone slabs contrast quite nicely with the deep slate and the mangrove. They add like a pop of contrast. Yeah, I think this looks good. So now I'm just going to cap off the entire thing with a reflection of the roof on the bottom. I was about to refer to my base as a mothball, but then I realized that as soon as I give this thing a name, people are going to start referring to it as that. And I kind of don't want my base to be known as the mothball. But then again, it's not the worst ball related thing it could be called. And there we go. The build is now complete. And it is looking absolutely glorious, if I do say so myself. That is looking really, really good. That is a very cool starter base. Now, um, there is one minor detail that uh, I kind of like thought about as I was putting the floor on, which is I don't entirely know how I'm going to get into my base currently. Bit of a jump, it's a, it's a bit of a jump. Uh, and my truss bridge is full of trusses and then there's no way to get down into it. So for the time being, I'm gonna still be living out here. I'm still gonna be living out here, um, but I do have this nice ornament that will be a base in the future. This is my starter ornament, <laughs> my starter decoration. It's not quite a base just yet, but soon it will be once I think of how I'm actually going to get in into it. I would say this has been hugely successful. The next chapter is titles. Look at all these new titles. I spent 16 hours on these yesterday. You better like them. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about myself for the start of this season. You know, things are going well. I've got myself a rather nice looking ornament. I've got myself some pretty good starter resources. I haven't died. I'm still alive. There's lots of people that have died now. All is going very, very well indeed. And long may it continue. I hope that you enjoyed this first episode of Hermitcraft season 10. And I will catch you in the next one. Wait, I just realized, have I built this inside of Scar's area?